This video is going to be about the new Menard spaceship that I got just today. It'll be an unboxing and a little bit of evaluation of the spaceship. So it comes in an outer carton. I've already opened it. Um, we get a nice little uh, catalog which has really nice pictures um, and it's nice to look at this versus online because you can see a lot of them side by side especially like a lot of the cars that they have in here um, so it's kind of cool comes with a catalog if you want to get a catalog you probably can write them and get one I got the uh, wall wart it's already taken out of its box we got the wall wart with uh, three connections it looks like this basically and then you have three connections which you can get pretty far apart with this so you probably can use it for many buildings Now, um, it looks like they have it packed fairly well. They have these foam blocks, but they just kind of move around. So I'm not sure how good that does if, for packaging. And then they have these little blocks in here. Um, the item is stapled together, so you have to unstaple it. I've already taken it out of the box um, and restapled it. This would an office staple. So if you need to send it back, you can just do that. Now, upon just originally getting it, um, the guy is not on the bottom and this little alien is not in the right spot but the rest of it's fine um, and what's cool about it is it has some grass in it that isn't like based off of sawdust it's actually kind of like felt so it's not going to get all over the place I've already had it out and you can see there's nothing really here on the table the labels on it, the package are kind of fun. I mean, they talk about colorful lights, anime tractor beam, includes cows and aliens. Um, and then all along the bottom, they have some signage about fully landscaped and stuff. Um, it's just kind of fun. Um, actually, you could leave it in its box and plug it in this hole, so they probably do that in the stores. But um, I already unstapled it, so I'm just going to lift the top off. It, it has a bunch of hay bales. You can see there's three of them on the right there. Uh, it has this weird, crazy looking um, creature. Uh, and then there's the dog. And then this guy up here, as, as shipped, he kind of fell off his little thing. And I'll show that how I fix that later. Um, the one thing that isn't very pleasing is the fact that the alien at the top is, uh, he's pretty much fallen off. <laughs> so I'm going to think about something to perhaps cut through uh, the plastic. It's very thin plastic. Uh, it's actually glued around here, so there's no way to separate it. You can see I kind of picked that a little bit. I should have picked it on the back, but <laughs> um, that didn't really work. But anyway... It has some cool signage. Uh, our mission statement, we take your stake. And then the great East Martian cow abduction. And they have some nice little um, displays there with the control panel. Uh, we'll plug it in and we'll see, you see what it looks like. Uh, they got a really cool barn. Um, and they got three cows there. And then they got the cow underneath. So I like the trees. Now what's neat about the trees is they just are kind of really fun. They're almost kind of like um, palm trees a little bit. Uh, and you know, I really like the toy nature of the trees because I'm going to probably get some of their trees. The catalog showed that there were trees there. So we basically have trees around here. We have another hay bale here. And then we have three cows there and the guy. And then we also have another Martian that looks very similar to the Martian that's inside the spacecraft. So what I'm thinking of doing, perhaps, is actually putting some cows inside that they've already abducted. Um, you know, if I'm going to open that up, um, that might be an idea. But I don't know yet. 
is we're going to plug it in. So what's nice about these, and you probably already know from other reviews, is they have two plugins. They have one that's above, so if you want to use this as a Christmas display or something like that, you don't have to have the wires go underneath. Or if you're going to put it on your layout, um, they have wires underneath that you can just use. And so it's pretty cool. It, the, the perimeter flashes red, green, and blue. And then up top, the control panel um, lights up as well as the deck, I guess you could call it the control deck, um, also lights out in green. It's very bright on the camera here, so um, sorry about that. Uh, so what's cool about it is it's very cool, and you can see the guy moving back and forth. He's, he's kind of just hanging out here, see? But if I put him in his hole, he does kind of rotate back and forth. Um, so you can see kind of how he's going to move back and forth like a seesaw. There's actually a pin that is glued to the bottom. Everything is kind of glued together. It's just very kind of, what's fun about it, it's very, um, it's just like you would build it yourself, which is kind of neat. I don't need it to be all kind of highly polished, um, manufactured looking. I, I like the fact that it looks like somebody made it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fix this. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay. So you can see that the little alien at the top is on his back. Um, so we're going to, we're not going to do that now, I don't think. But anyway, so the, the control panel has a red, yellow, and white lights, which you can't really see when they're blinking so bright. Um, and then it's green. And then underneath, which I'll show you next, from underneath, you can see the cow is being raised up almost all the way into the spaceship. Um, there's some white lights under there uh, illuminated him and it's really quite cool and then the cowboy you can see he's he's needing an adjustment he's flying right now he's going to be abducted too but once I put him in there like that you can see that he'll just rotate around hopefully and not actually pull off maybe he pulled off during production um, not sure that's okay. You know, this is just kind of like a kit built thing. And uh, yeah, the grass is really neat. I, I, did, I explained that earlier, but it's kind of like fuzz. So it's not going to come off um, all over your layout or all over your Christmas display or whatever you choose to do it. Uh, you do with it. You can see that there's a nice lamp over the barn. Um, yeah, so it's a really cute thing. I really love it, actually. So let's go ahead and get... Um, I'm going to try and do some heat glue, maybe, to glue the guy down and see what happens. So you can see what the progress of that is. But let me show you the bottom first to kind of show you what I'm going to attempt to do. I don't know if they have a tube or whatever, but the pin is heat. It looks like it's heat glue. And then it, they have some glue here. And I imagine that the heat glue didn't stick to the pin so well, so the guy could just be rotated. I'm just going to go ahead and reattach him with some heat glue uh, like that and see how he does. Hopefully he will do okay. If not, I can probably readjust something. I'm not sure exactly. Also, looking at the bottom, you can see that there is two sets of wires going to the spaceship. So I'm wondering if one set of wires is for the lights and the other set of the wires is for the motor. If that's the case, you could probably put a switch in line with those wires to actually turn the motor off. If you didn't want the cow thing working all the time, um, you just like the lights on, which I might consider doing. Um, here's the plug that's in there. So I don't think this is going to be a problem. He's just an elastic cord. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the motor till he's at the farthest position up. And that's when I'll go ahead and glue him in. And it looks like it's fixed. Um, let's look at the bottom and see how that looks, well, how our repair looks. Um, see if you can see anything. Um, oh, that's not where it needs to be. 
could see what I did. You can't really tell much, but I just simply put some hot glue on there and put him back. So that's kind of a neat animation idea. You just have some uh, elastic string and you can just have some kind of mechanism that pulls that string back and forth and you can create some neat animations. It's kind of an idea. It's neat the way it's kind of spring loaded. I'm not sure how long the elastic string will last and probably when you store it, you should probably store it with the cow down because that would be the least stretch of the string. Um, but you know, you could probably always replace the string yourself if it ends up going bad. Um, it probably can find some elastic strings somewhere to, I don't know where you would find such thin string, but you probably can find some. Anyway, so great. So that's it. Uh, yeah, so now I'm going to probably investigate how I can get into the top um, because I really kind of want to investigate that. Probably what I'm going to end up doing is, um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to succeed at this, but I'm thinking of taking a razor knife and cutting where the silver and the clear are. And then hopefully I can separate that and get the alien back in. Uh, and then uh, to make it look okay later, I could probably get some black striping or silver striping. Uh, the kind of tapes type stuff you have and tape on the edge so it looks like it's an intentional joint. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but that's what I'm thinking of doing. All right, well, thanks for letting me show you this. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I haven't had videos in like four years. And um, it's kind of fun just to kind of show you guys this stuff and get back involved. All right, see you. took a very sharp X-Acto knife. Um, it's not exactly the easiest to cut, and you probably can see the joints, but now I can get inside. And uh, yeah, I kind of messed it up there. Um, yeah, but now I can take the alien, see the alien, and I can put him inside his thing. And he has a little space underneath for his legs, as you can see. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Probably now that the top comes off, I'm just going to let him sit there because maybe there will be different kinds of scenes that I want to do with the alien. I'm going to put him back, put the cover back in here. Um, yeah. So, oops. It's not perfect. Um, you can't really tell. But anyway, um, so, yeah, that's it. So now he's back in his chair. So now I'm going to go and get some people and put some other things in there just for fun. I figured I might as well get some other guys to go in there. Uh, let's see, we could put a little baby horse in here too. You know, because the aliens are hungry. I mean, they got a long trip. You can put some other cows in here. I mean, this is like, the aliens are really, they're kind of hungry. So anyway. So we put those guys in there. And so in some ways, this, you know, I always look at like, you know, when there's something like this um, that isn't right, I kind of look at it as an opportunity to have fun with it, you know, and not take it seriously. And so now, oh gosh, the guy fell over. Is he dead? Let's just leave him dead. He came in trying to stop the alien, but it didn't work. Anyway, so now we have a sheep. We have a horse, he's on his side too. But anyway, so you can put other characters in there to be funny. Anyway, um, I don't really think the joint looks so bad. I kind of, um, I probably should have cut it a little better. Um, yeah, but you can't really tell. Besides, it's just kind of fun, whimsical thing that uh, you can have fun with. And I think we have accomplished that. Great accessory.